you've got to follow a few principles of training, and there's a couple of principles that are interesting to understand when you talk about training or when you talk about missing training, like you've all missed or miss a race, and what do we do next? I'm in shape, what do I do? Well, the first thing you've got to realize about training is that your body reacts to stress. If you stress your body, you get a reaction. If you all got up and ran around the block, you would have a bunch of reactions. Your heart would be beating faster, your blood pressure would go up, your blood vessels would open up to feed those muscles, you'd be breathing, and, and all kinds of things happen. And if you did that once a day, all those things would happen every time you do it. But over time, you'd have a different reaction. And that different reaction would be more of a chronic, a, a reaction to chronic exercise, which we call training. And that is that you would strengthen those things that, you're, that are responding. You stress your heart muscle and it's gonna get stronger. I mean, as long as you're healthy, you stress your ventilatory muscles, they're gonna get stronger. You stress some muscles down in where you run and, and they're gonna get better at running. So you get benefits. And the interesting thing is how you get those benefits. Let's say that this is where your fitness level is right now. You're not training at all. Here's death. You're just a little bit above that. <laughs> okay? And you start training three times one mile at 12 minutes each with 10 minutes rest three times a week. Okay? So you go out and you run a mile in 12 minutes, you rest 10, you run a second one in 12, you rest 10, you run a third one, and you do that three times a week. If you've never run before, that's gonna allow you to reach a new level of fitness up here, somehow. And the way you're gonna go up, you're not gonna just jump up there, you're gonna go up there like this. That means in one week, you're about halfway there. And in two weeks, you're about half of where you got in one week and where you're going. And in three weeks, you're about half of where you got in two weeks and where you're going. It's called the half-life of training. You, know, you could do the same thing with push-ups. If you never did any push-ups, you do 10 push-ups every day, and you're gonna get better at doing push-ups. But at some point, you're not gonna get better anymore. You can't just do 10 push-ups every day and keep getting better and better and better forever. And you're not gonna keep getting better and better and better runner by just doing that workout. But the neat thing is, you got four things to deal with. This is an amount of work right here, three miles. How much work am I doing? This is the intensity at which you do it, 12 minutes a mile. There's two characteristics right there. How much am I doing, how fast am I doing it? The third is, how much rest do I take between bouts of work? And the fourth is, what's the frequency? So you got four things you can deal with. And if you make any one of those more stressful, you're gonna reach a new level of fitness up here. So you make it more stressful here, and you're gonna go up there. And you make it more stressful here, and you're gonna go up to another one. 